In this video, I want to show you how to set up a spec sheet for t-shirt screen printing. This will allow you to send your art out to a screen printer and they'll get the sizing and the placement and the colors correct. And I'm also going to show you how to use linked files along with t-shirt mock-up templates in your t-shirt spec sheet. So the first thing I want to do is let's just grab the men's t-shirt templates and these are a front, back, and left and right views. And when I drag them into this Adobe Illustrator document, they come in linked. And I'll show you what this means. Let me drag them off the artboard here. So I've got these backgrounds set to transparent. And you'll see there's a little blue X on these mockups. And that just means the file's linked. So if you go back and change something in this file, it'll update. So if I go into Photoshop and change the graphic on this t-shirt and then we update that, it'll update in this Illustrator file. So that's really convenient for doing things like this spec sheet. So what I want to do here is let's get our front view next to our right view and then let's get our back view here and then our left view next to that. So we can take all these and let's drag them over here into the spec sheet. In the spec sheet you'll see I have a design and we've got some colorways. The colorways are pretty much all the same, except here on the white fabric, our type is black. So when you're filling out a spec sheet, you want your ink colors to be in order. So if you think about screen printing, you're printing you know, one color, another color, another color, and these are all on separate screens. So for instance, our type is gonna be this black, and then maybe the leopard orange, it's going to be the next color. Then we have a very light gray, like a cool gray two or something like that. And then also this line work for the leopard is, it's a duplicate of this top color, but it's a separate screen because when we go to these colorways, your text is that light gray and you're going to want to keep your orange color after that, light gray for the leopard's face below that and then our line work. So that's how you fill out the colors. And the main thing I wanna show you here is how to update these t-shirt templates. So let's say we wanted the leopard to be the front graphic in here, and we wanted these to update. So the convenient thing is first we can just select this graphic, Command C to copy it. So if we click on this front view t-shirt, we can go to edit original. That's gonna open it up in Photoshop. We can go into the layers here, turn off this example graphic, and just highlight the layer below it and go Command V to paste in your art. You can paste it in as pixels. So we'll position it, and then when we like the scale and the placement, just hit Enter or Return. Save that. Now let's go back into Adobe Illustrator and it'll say uh, some files are missing or modified. Would you like to update them now? Just say yes and you'll see how it updates in this file. And you can use the same process to update the left and right and back side of the t-shirts. Now, when we send this graphic off to our screen printer, they'll know what the placement is on the t-shirt, where the graphic goes. Down here, you'll put your full size art. So if I click on this, you can see that it's 10 inches wide. So I want that 10 inches wide on the front, this little sleeve graphic is 2.25 inches wide. And we can just finish this off by giving this graphic a name and then adding in our Pantone colors. Now this is good if you wanna print this out, present it on a wall. You could also save it as a PDF to show a digital version. So that's how to make a t-shirt spec and also use the Easy Mockup Templates Variety Collection and also linked files. Thanks for watching.